Hi, let's do some Tong Ren for the lower body. Aches and pains. Uh, we're starting with clean out, triple warmer 16, 17, side of the neck. We want to start with a clean slate. We want to let go of anything that's ready to go beforehand. And to set that process in motion while we continue to work. So, triple warmer 16, 17, side of the neck. Triple warmer 20, right at the top of the ears. Clean up crew, ready to go. And we're going to start with some points for arthritis. When you have some chronic aches and pains, a lot of times there's just wear and tear arthritis. So we're going to go back to thoracic vertebrae, one, two, three. One, two, three. We're also going to do governing vessel 14, right at the end of the cervical vertebrae, C7. C7, uh, governing vessel 14, master point for bones. So T1, 2, 3 for arthritis. And so many other things too, as you know. And a little stomach, 12, right above the collarbone. This area is known as the clavicular fossa. If you need something fancy for Scrabble. And triple warmer, 5, the back of the wrist. Really good circulation point. So same meridian as the ones we started out with. Brings everything to the outside. Triple warmer five. Let's see if you can see that here. Yeah. Triple warmer five. And gallbladder 34 on the side of the knee. This is a really good point for tendons in the body. So what does that mean? It helps to relax tight muscles. It helps muscles to function that might be a little lax. So sometimes when we have muscle tensions, some are overworking and some are underworking. Gallbladder 34. And we're going to do lower body. So a lot of times we use the upper body to help the lower body. And we're going to see one right at the juncture between the head and the neck. C1 opening up that juncture places, transition places, often easily get stuck. This is a good place to open up. As above, so below. C1. And we're going to do a little T7 to open up on the way. And for low back, we're going to do a little bit on the front at C6. Now I know you often know C6 as a, a recharge point, and that's true, but a lot of times we use the front to work with the back as well as above to work with below and vice versa. So we're coming at the low back from the front. And a little bit of GV20. I know I'm jumping around here, but again, above is helping below. And while we're here, we're going to do some ouch points on the back. So, uh, bladder 26 and 27, right in the SI joint, the sacroiliac joint. This is right where the pelvis and the sacrum join together. Again, a transition point that often gets stopped up. We're going to do a little lumbar. Uh, L1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lumbar vertebrae. This uh, area of the body helps us to be upright no matter whether we're standing or sitting. It works hard for us and carries a lot of tension. Um, it's a very strong area and carries a lot of load, so we're giving it a little love right now. And some 
bladder 31, 32, 33, 34, right over the sacrum. Uh, this area crisscrossed by a lot of connective tissue. Uh, tendons, muscles, ligaments, all in here. Um, the sacrum, as you know, is like a keystone. It takes the, the forces from two legs and brings them into one spine. And we'll do a little bit around the hips. Gallbladder 30, both sides. So we're trying to get some major ouch points here. And a very uh, premier point for the low back is bladder 40, or some people call it bladder 54. And that's because historically there have been two different numbering systems for some of these bladder points. So bladder 40 behind the knee. And, you know, this might also be a knee ouch point. So we're going to transition to working with the knees. So bladder 40, we're going to come around to the front on the inside of the knees to liver 8. Another very important knee point. Liver 8. We did bladder 40. We're working our way around. And just below the knee on the, the medial or the inside edge is spleen 9. So liver 8 and spleen 9 kind of above and below the knee on that inside phase. And let's do a couple points that may be ouch points above and below the knee on the outside. We'll do stomach 34 and stomach 36. And you probably know stomach 36 as a, a, a really good um, strengthening point. Well, we're using it for the knee too. It does a lot of work. So we've got all that. We're going to do some ouch points right around the knee, right around the kneecap. A lot of times that's where people feel discomfort. And the kneecap is right over the joint itself. So if we've got some arthritis in there at the joint, we'll just give a little energy and see what that'll do for us. And we'll come down to liver three. Liver 3, all good circulation. Liver 3, helping the lower body. And pairing with large intestine 4 in the back of the hand. Liver 3 and large intestine 4, the four gates in the body. All good vital circulation. And finishing up, as always, at kidney 1 on the sole of the foot. Bringing it all down so that you're well grounded and we combine everything harmonizing upper middle lower thank you very much again as always listen anytime some is better than none and consistency wins every time linda davis inner harbor acupuncture thanks